So we're making this album here in Belmont, California at a place called OTR Studios with this beautiful piano which uh, is one of the finest recording pianos on the west coast and it also happens to be the piano where I made my first couple of albums and with the engineer who helped me make those albums. I've known her since 1995 and she's someone I can trust. Particularly in this process, making a solo album, everything is so exposed and uh, sensitive. It's a very delicate process. You know, you're getting a real full dose of the piano, it's like you're being immersed in it. It's not just a document, it's really a, sort of taking a stand about what a piano should sound like. The piano ends up feeling very lush and rich and vast. Also has a lot of clarity, a lot of delicacy. Some people want the piano to be in front of them, uh, but this is more like it's all around you. This is the most personal statement I could possibly issue artistically. It's the ultimate reveal, you know, um, and it's very vulnerable. So one of the central pieces on this album is titled Autoscopy, which is a kind of out-of-body experience when you have the sensation of leaving your body and watching it. So in a way, that's what this album is, <laughs> is that process performed through the recording studio. In the craft of records, there is improvisation involved, you know, and, and discovery, and uh, collaboration, you know, and uh, building. It's not built before they get in the studio, it's actually built in process. I guess each piece I'm playing has its own story. It's been interesting deciding what to put on this album. I'm doing a number of my own pieces. I'm dealing with pianists who've inspired me. You know, I talked about Thelonious Monk and Duke Ellington, pianist composers specifically, people who presented a, a vision of music at the piano, not just as players, but as uh, architects of music. Well, you know, one thing that I... Um, find to be pretty crucial is to strip away any notion of uh, pride <laughs> or uh, intent, really. you know, like it kind of has to, you can't be too attached to what's supposed to happen in a specific piece. Um, you know, because this is improvisational music, it's meant to be alive. I, I think part of what I want to do with this album is sort of reacquaint people with the process of experience itself, with really what it means to live through a moment. There are certain kinds of works of art that do that, you know, where you you don't just glance at it, but you live with it, or you kind of live through it or move through it. That uh, you have to put your body in the space, and music does that with you with time. You have to put your body through the time that was experienced by the body that made it. At some level, we're sharing time. This recording is going to be something that you can kind of move around in as a listener. Like you can kind of live inside of it. And it's something that you can live with and can experience in layers. You know, like each time you re revisit, you might find something else. Thank you.